Here are six digit cards. Use them to make two three digit numbers that give the smallest possible total. So we need to make two numbers and we need to arrange the digits so that when you add those numbers, you get the smallest possible total. Pause the video and think about how you might solve this question. Well, if we want the smallest possible total, we need to have our smaller digits in our larger place value columns. So let's move one to the hundreds of the first number. Then we can move three, move our next smallest digit to the hundreds of the number we're adding. Then we can have four in the tens and five in the tens because they're our middle digits. And that means our largest digits, the seven and the nine, can be moved to our units. So let's add these together and see what total we get. Seven plus nine is 16. Then one plus four plus five is 10. And one plus one plus three is five. So we have 147 and 359 as our two three digit numbers. We can't move any of these digit cards to make a total smaller than 506. But are there any other numbers that make the same total, other numbers that we can make from these digit cards, which also equal 506? Well, with addition, order doesn't matter. So as long as we keep the digits in the same place value column, we can switch them around. So if we switch around our hundreds digits, we have 347 and 159, and this also equals 506. We could switch our tens digits around so that we have 357 plus 149. Are there any other numbers that work? Well, if we move our hundreds back, we now have 157 plus 349. So now let's do something different. Rather than making the smallest possible total, let's use the same digit cards to make the largest possible total. What are we going to do differently? Well, to make the largest total, we need the larger digits in the larger place values. So we need the nine and the seven in our hundreds column. The middle digits, so the five and the four, can go in our tens column. And that means we have the smaller digits so we have the three and the one in our units column. So if we add the two numbers we've made, three plus one is four, five plus four is nine, and nine plus seven is 16. So when we add 953 and 741, we get the largest possible total which is 1,694. We can't move any of these digit cards around to make a larger total. But we can move the digit cards around to make the same total. There are different solutions to this problem. Pause the video and see if you can work out all of the other numbers that we can make from these digit cards, which also add to make 1,000. 694. Switching the hundreds means we have 753 and 941. Then switching the tens means we have 743 and 951. But then if we switch the hundreds back again, We've got two new numbers, which also add to 1,694. So that's 943 and 751. So because we're adding, 
we get the same total whether the digits are in the top or bottom number as long as they're in the same place value, as long as they stay in the hundreds, tens or units, because with addition, order doesn't matter.